working on a modern Japanese suburban home thing. Um, I found this on Pinterest and I thought it was really good. It was really really beautiful I think. Um, and I decided to make this week's speed build base game only. It's my first time ever making a base game only house. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought to just use base game alone. I never really paid attention to what base game only had. <laughs> so I was really happy that I was able to make this house come true with just the base game. Um, um, I- wait. Wait, my brain- <laughs> it's the morning. I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna go along with it. It's so early in the morning right now. I have no idea how I'm still speaking, but um, I'm, I'm, as usual, as usual, I guess I will be adding the the screenshots, on oh, the screenshots, um, the images of the original house on screen, so you can see what it's like. Um, this house's name is Talkie House. Have I mentioned that in this video already? I don't know. <laughs> it is too early in the morning. It is eight forty forty three. Usually, I don't talk at 8.43 a.m. I'm awake, but I don't talk. Anyways, um, yeah, so um, it, it was named Talky House. I assume it's the client's name because this is like a um, professional architect's project that they put online and I was just going through the blog post that they had and I was like, okay, this is a very, very, very stunning, stunning design. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, this house is a little special. It is big, but it is not. It's not going to take up the whole of this 20 by 30 or 30 by 20 lot in Willow Creek that I used to build in. Um, I wanted to build it on a 20 by 15 lot. The lot specifically opposite this lot. If you guys are familiar with this area in Willow Creek, um, but. I didn't like the lighting there, so I didn't build it there, but you can easily fit this lot into any 20 by 15 lot, I'm quite certain, because I just, this is, the size of this build, as you see now, is basically how big this entire build is going to be. And I think I didn't really hate that. Sometimes it's like, you don't have to use every single inch of the lot space. So that was really fun. Anyways, you can see that the, the, the house shape has come together pretty easily. Um, it was really, really easy actually. Um, once I found the floor plan and once I found out like descriptions of what they were trying to go for, it was pretty easy to, to figure out like how the, the house looks like in real life. Also, I mean like obviously, not also, obviously it is not going to be like 100% accurate because um, a house of this size with human scale, you'll be able to add a lot more things in than you can in The Sims. So inside, in, in the interiors, it's actually a lot smaller than what it is, um, I guess, in real life. But I think that's okay. It turned out really stunning. Um, this house features um, three levels, actually, actually two and a half. Um, because we have like a loft situation in the top floor where and and also and also the um oh where where <laughs> this is such a mess um but it's also where the main living area is gonna be so instead of it being on the first floor at like we usually see living rooms and kitchens to be on um our living room dining room kitchen is on the second floor as well as the balcony and everything is a pretty pretty interesting layout i would say it's part of the reason why i wanted to try out this um, this build, but um, primarily I was, um, I guess, enchanted, entranced by how this house looks, and I really wanted to challenge myself to do this in The Sims. 
um, I think I did a pretty good job. And you can see that I'm trying to make that split. I don't think this is called a split level. It's just a loft. Yeah, I'm making like the third level sort of situation happen right now. It's not going to be a very big like um, loft space. I wanted to add rooms to this loft space, but um, I wasn't able to because of the, the angle of the roof. The walls were just cut through the roof. I wish the walls didn't do that, but they do. So we work with what we have, I guess. Um, I cut out a lot of the um, floor plan planning and uh, staircase placement out of the video because I was, it was just me going back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out something that works. And um, I already kind of knew what, um, how big I wanted my family to be, more or less. Um, I ended up going with a, um, a pair of parents. Parents, a teenage boy, and um, two twin, twin daughters. So three kids, because this is a base game, I couldn't add in a pet, but this would easily, easily fit in like a dog, two cats, I don't know, like you can, you can easily have pets in this like, in this big house. So that was, that was a bummer, but it's okay, we're doing like base game, not everyone has all the packs, not like me. <laughs> uh, but I, I honestly, it heads off to those people who um, built a lot of base game only houses. It's so hard trying to make this work. Well, like it's not hard to make it work, but it's really hard to make it look really good. But on the other hand, it is surprisingly easy to find like really good stuff in the base game only. Like I, I didn't expect to be able to find so many like more modern um, designs furniture and also like wall and floor wall wall paintings wall no not wall paintings um wall textures and floors <laughs> you can see that i'm trying to make like a um genkan area here and and a japanese styled entryway um but i made it raised instead because i couldn't really like make it work um sunken down so i guess it's like a modern rendition of like a genkan it doesn't matter as long as there's like a there's like a demarcation between where you take off your shoes and where you where where it becomes like a clean home space. <laughs> um, oh, and uh, for for landscaping. Oh yeah, I think I jump a lot around a lot for this lot. I think it's also partially because like I was referring to a blog post, blog post. So most of the time I was just like hopping back and forth between um, trying to fit in everything from how I understand the blog post to be and how I want it to be in The Sims. So it was, it was, it was, it wasn't, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I jump around a lot. Um, including this voiceover, I'm so sorry, but I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, the landscaping, um, which we are almost done with, is really, really very simple. I did this little um, diagonal pattern on the gravel on the floor outside the house because I thought it was cool and also because it was actually kind of part of the um um I guess it's the model the 3d it's not even like a digital model it's like a literally it literally was made physically it's like a dollhouse <laughs> model 3d model of um of the house that they were gonna the architects were gonna build for this family and I really like the diagonal design I thought it really brought out the angles and the shapes of this simple simply lined house so i wanted to bring it into the sims and i thought it was pretty cool that i could do it with the um the floor tiles being diagonal and all um so i was really proud of the the very simple landscaping it's really really simple not overgrown at all um i kept it really really to the minimum and minimum minimum yeah and i really liked it actually i've been experimenting a lot with different landscaping styles if you guys have seen my last couple of videos it's just like overgrown and then um, a different sort of landscaping style this is just like minimal style and I just really like I don't know landscaping is fun I, I can see why now I used to be like oh landscaping is really really hard <laughs> but now I'm just like okay landscaping is really really fun yeah so now I'm, I'm just decorating I, I have I have started decorating the house now Furnishing, decorating. Um, this Genkan turned out really good. Um, I really like this Genkan. I imagined there to be children, so I just kind of gave the Genkan a lot more like color, a lot more like 
um, a lot more signs that there are children present in the house. This is a really, really cute spot where, you know, you can see some memorabilia, some artwork, some trophies, maybe that um, I'm imagining the teenage son earned from school. He's probably like, I gave him like a, when I created the, um, the son, I gave him an active trait and a bro trait. So I imagine that he's just really good at sports in school. So I just imagine that those like trophies are for him. I don't know though. It could be for like his father, his mother. Probably not the kids though. They're probably too young to get any trophies, I don't think. But you know, just a little bit of backstory here and there. Um, yeah, the Gankan is really small. The entire like entry area is really small. But I thought it was, I, I just thought that it was quite brilliant. That it's not like every other house that you see where you just walk in and it's just like the um uh the sofa the kitchen it's all visible it's what i tend to do not gonna lie i like to do my open concept like once you enter the door you can see everything sort of open concept um concept <laughs> a floor plan layout so this is really refreshing to do where everything is just a little bit a little bit opposite my my morning brain cannot <laughs> but i'm trying i'm trying i hope you guys still are still with me um yeah this is the only bathroom no wait this is the one one of two bathrooms that i show you in this build but we have four bathrooms in total every single bedroom in this house has an ensuite bathroom which is pretty pretty cool okay i guess this is not really an ensuite bathroom but well it's this is the this is gonna be the teen boy's room, and um, he has the whole floor to himself, especially at night. So I guess that bathroom pretty much belongs to him. So I am just gonna consider that an ensuite bathroom, even though, even though it's not technically an ensuite bathroom. And uh, you can see that I'm trying to like fit in some furniture. I tried to go for red. I I'll imagine that he's just really into red. Reds, uh, a very boyish boy. <laughs> I just went for like the full-on stereotypes for this one as well. I just, I don't know, it's just always easier to explore these. Especially because I haven't done many builds yet, so it's really fun to just explore the stereotypes before I go, I branch off into more s shocking storylines, I guess. That's 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 the way I'm thinking anyways. I, I, I did do some tool modding around here and there, simple ones I'm not really very good at doing insane things with base game only builds like I know that Eva Rodki and I think Gula builds those amazing builders they can do a lot of things with just the base game only and I'm not one of them yet I want to be like that one day but right now right now I can just do simple two modding <laughs> just to make things look a little bit less um, I guess plain and base gamey. Actually, honestly, surprisingly, there's a lot of gay base gay base 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 game things that um, look really good <laughs> now, and um, it's really it's really impressive, honestly. But yeah, you can see that I settled on red walls. I initially didn't want red walls for bedrooms because like red is not a color that you want in your room. It just makes you um angry and hungry at the same time. Um, you know, color psychology. It's just how people react to colors but I imagine that being like a teenager I imagine that being on his own on the first floor he probably wanted this room um, he's probably quite rebellious I imagine him sneaking out at night <laughs> going partying or like hanging out with his friends late at night and no one would know because he's just living um, below everyone else <laughs> so I just imagine that he's like one of the more hot-headed kind of teenagers in his puberty, in his pubescent years. So I thought red is really, it just reflects his personality a lot, I think. And I really, really like how this bedroom turns out. It's definitely my favorite bedroom out of the three that I make in this house. I think I ran, I, I think I really ran out of steam a little bit by the end. Um, <laughs> cause it's not because of the base game, but I guess it's cause I just got vaccinated last week and I haven't been all right since <laughs> i've been super tired i don't know about you guys but i heard that you're supposed to just be tired for a couple of days but i have been experiencing this slow burn of fatigue 
throughout the week. So I, I, I've been waking up a lot later recently. I just couldn't get myself out of bed and I just feel really, really, um, I don't know, just I feel really energyless physically, which is very frustrating when you're trying to get things done. <laughs> like this video it took me so long to just um, find enough energy to even film and do and stuff. So, <sighs> but you know, you know, it is what it is. At least I got vaccinated. Vaccination is great. I am so happy I got vaccinated. Anyways, back to the build. This is the, the kitchen. It fell, it, it came, fell together. I guess that works. Came together really well. Um, I use the, obviously the um, base game counters that are the best ones. <laughs> I actually really like these counters. Um, they're really industrial looking. Um, they add a little bit of like that texture to the space. Everything's really simple. I kind of followed the um, floor plan a little bit more when it comes to the um, family the family area, the shared spaces because I really liked how they designed it to make it flow from like kitchen all the way to kitchen, dining room and living room. They all flowed in this one long corridor sort of space. You'll see in a little bit. You'll see how it falls together. Um, so I kind of followed it. Um, obviously proportions are different, it really bothered me a little bit that the proportions are different because I couldn't make a lot of things work um, in The Sims as well, especially with the loft detail. There was supposed to be a lot more like loft details where like children would be able to climb up the, the, the ladders and look over onto this floor. You can't do that, you can't do that as Sims but you can do that in the sense that um, I made it so that it looks like it can happen but still it doesn't have the same feel but i did my best <laughs> i hope you guys like it um yeah and it was a real big struggle trying to figure out what color i want the um dining table and chairs to be also honestly thank you harry for all these wonderful wonderful base game items because <laughs> those t that table and the chairs they're by harry a very very amazing CC creator of furniture and yeah those that um, EA added well the Sims 4 added into the base game is godsend honestly some just nice simple modern dining chairs and tables is just what we needed <laughs> so this is the TV area I decided to, fi to frame it in with like the two bookcases I stuck mainly with like the industrial um, look with those matching furniture types. You guys know what I mean with the cabinets and everything. And I think everything just looked really good in the end. Um, I struggled a little bit with the um, rugs. Yes, you can tell. <laughs> um, just like it's pretty hard to make rugs work sometimes because they're so square. Um, but also because like I think there's too many rugs. So I decided to take away the one under the dining area and make it look more airy and, and free while having that comforting feel of a rug underneath that living room space and that was what I went for. Um, yeah, this is the master bedroom. It is honestly, it's gonna turn out really really bland in the end. <laughs> I think for the master bedroom, I really hope, I was hoping for something, I don't know, like I would have gone for something a lot more like Echo lifestyle looking on something, but we have only base game. The one thing about the base game is um, I cannot find curtains that really works. Not that I can find any curtains that work even if I have the whole game with all the, the, all, all the DLCs with me. All the packs. I just- curtains is a problem guys. Cur I, I guess you guys know that, but curtains are a problem. <laughs> we don't have enough curtains that are good. There I said it, but it's really true. But yeah, this, this this room is not my favorite. It is really bland. I didn't know what to do with it. It's a really, really odd like space. But I did remember that we can um, watch TV. I mean, like the Sims can watch TV relaxing on the bed now. So I just replaced the painting with the TV and made sure that that worked. That was good. I skipped over all the, um, all the toilets, like I said, because they are all the same layout. They're the same layout, just different colors. Um, the, the parents one has a, has a little bit more of like that beigey tone, a little bit more like, I guess, 80s? I don't know, like something like that. And then the girls have like a more pinky tone to theirs. And I'm using a bunk bit. I'm using the, the base game one. Surprisingly, now I'm just like, now that we have more bunk bit options in The Sims with the Dream Home Decorator pack, 
I have only been using this base game one, the wooden one. I have no idea what's wrong with me. I was like, this is so ugly. This is so ugly. And then now I'm using this all the time. Every single build, I just use this one instead of the Dream Home Decorator one. I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. But yeah, I went for like a little pink purple team theme in this in this room because I, I imagine them to be like really, really girly girls. I know that's a very lazy way of thinking of things, but um. It turned out good, okay, it turned out good, it turned out really cute for the small space that they are in. Honestly, all the rooms are so small. Oh yes, um, I kept this this bathroom in because first it's a powder room and it's facing the, the balcony, it's really weird. But um, I intended for this to not be a bathroom actually, I wanted it to be a laundry room up to the point where I realized that laundry is not base game. And then I died a little inside. I was like, oh no, I really wanted laundry in this build because there's a huge balcony and you can add like laundry, you can add so many things. And like honestly, laundry hanging out on the balcony in a Japanese home is so Japanese. And I'm just like, oh my god, I couldn't do that. But it's okay. It's okay, we get over it. Um, you guys can put in laundry, you can put in like the washing machine and, and drying machine, dryer machine and like the laundry. The, the clothes line outside if you guys want to if you guys have laundry laundry day that is where the um the washing machine will go <laughs> that's basically the um utilities room shall i say because that makes more sense facing the balcony if not you'll be have you you if not your guests or you will have to exit the home into the elements on the balcony if it's like snowing or something or if it's really hot just to go to the toilet it's just really weird i mean sometimes it does happen in like really really old houses not really really old but like older houses especially here in singapore i do um i've experienced a couple of them i think i think it's not just a singaporean thing but i've seen a couple in singapore where like older landed houses they have like separate toilets like outside <laughs> you have to leave you have to walk in the rain <laughs> just to get to the toilet i've seen it before it it exists but it's not like the kind of stuff that you will find in like a newly renovated luxurious like um suburban home because this is pretty luxurious i think like they they the clients they built this from scratch in real life so i imagine they do have like a little bit of money uh yeah so it's pretty weird but I, I didn't really like how this balcony turned out obviously with the sims everything is just it just looks really big until you put in the furnitures and then everything just becomes a lot smaller i feel so i thought i could add more into this space but actually i could only add like two areas one being the um, bar and outdoor dining area and this little sitting area which i really really love it looks super duper cozy um i wanted to put in a grill but then i decided that it was really weird to put in a grill because i didn't know where to put it i guess you could just put it in the mirror in the middle where there's nothing but i don't know in the end i decided not to but if you guys want to definitely put it back in we have grills in the base game so it's definitely a thing that you can do this is the loft area it's really hard to build lofts under the roofs because you always have to have the walls down most of the time for building to work like you have to really angle your camera down there before you can actually build under the roof but i think this really turned out very cozy i really love my under the roof like loft moments i love that that feeling of being like right underneath a roof top i don't know i think everyone likes that don't you let me know if you guys do in the comments if you do but yeah, I did another like um, computer space with like a stereo and stuff and I added some of those journal, the framed up magazine covers, frame thingies there just to fill up the space but I guess we can we can go with the we can go with the backstory of how one of the father, one of the one of the parents are like uh, is like a a writer, a journalist or something and those are like their award winning like magazines and stuff maybe. We could go with that. And then now we're just doing like a couple more um exterior decoration things we're dealing with the porch basically the porch was like um like this <laughs> there's nothing much to say um but these these little like column thingies that i i kind of caved out they're supposed to be storage but we don't really have like good storage shelves in base game so i just went for these cabinets um, wall cabinets and I thought they actually look really good like that and then this is my favorite part I turned all the lights orange like pure orange and it looks so good it looks like how light lighting in Japan is when it's like really dark like nighttime lighting it really just looks like that I'm just like I'm so happy about this I really am um 
I don't know if you guys know, but like during nighttime in a garage, it's usually usually like really really warm orange lighting, and wow, it was so stunning when I did it. Anyways, this is like almost the end of the video. Actually, I just like um, I went in with these packages in white color to just kind of pave the area a little bit. Make made I I I think this way it, we we make the um. Uh, the granite pathway less dark because it's just like one straight very sharp line <laughs> and then I go over it with like you know terrain paint and stuff like that it was really simple to do honestly I just did this went around and I, I thought I'd keep all this footage in so that you guys can kind of get a glimpse of how the entire build looks on the back end as well because I didn't really show that very much and then after this all I did was um, put in some planks on the light in the lofts because there was no like actual ceiling there so I wanted to make it more like realistic in a sense you will see it now and anyways with this we are at the end of the video so thank you so much for watching all the way to the end if you did remember to follow no follow subscribe to my channel like this video if you liked it and also follow me on Twitter Twitch, Instagram, I'm Shami Bear everywhere and if you guys are interested in downloading this build it's space game only it will be on my gallery. Um, my <laughs> it will be on my gallery. My gallery ID is Shemi Bear. So I'll see you when I see you. Thank you so much and have a good day, guys. Mm -hmm.